Hello and welcome again. As we discussed in previous video that there are various uses of occlusal splints and there are various types of occlusal splints are available. However, in my experience, I found Michigan splint which ticks most of the boxes, especially when you're considering uses for restorative dentistry for diagnostic, preventative or treatment purposes. And because of that, in future video lectures we will be discussing about michigan splints more in detail in this video we will discuss about various steps you need to do in order to fabricate and use Mich michigan splints so before you consider fabricating michigan splints you need to start with an assessment you need to make sure that the patient's dentition is stable and free of caries, broken restoration, or periodontitis. Because if patient has broken teeth and it's called perio, you really cannot assess the occlusion properly because of the teeth keep breaking and the, the dentition keep changing because of perio. So you need to have all the teeth under control and stabilized before you consider Michigan splint.